Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zara at your service. I'm going to do a review on the new episode of World Trigger, episode 14. Now this episode, holy dang dude, it just got me going like one thing for sure. You just don't want to with this guy, okay? You just don't want to with this guy at all. Those of you who watched the episode knows what I'm talking about. So if anything else, I'd like to get started. Okay, at the beginning, we see to it that Jin and his rival go head to head against each other. However... And so forth. And we have Shiori, Shiori Usami, who's the who's a member of the Tamakoma branch, decides to explain to Osamu and or Kugayuma about the about these world tr what type of world trigger what type of triggers they are, you know. And there are many types of ways of like close close range or swords, you know, like Koketsu or the the heavy one that Osamu. Osama uses and the other thing that I that is most likely very light or something but yeah you know what I'm talking about but between those three one of them has the most balance and durable has the most devastating balance and durability is the Kongetsu I believe the one with the long blade and so forth the one that says that's the most balanced and durability the moment I saw the, the moment I saw those attacks and so forth it was pretty interesting but but between Jin and the other guy, Jin is pretty much weaker than his rival that he took up, that he used to be with. And Jin was chosen for a black trigger, and and he couldn't be, and his rival couldn't be part of that fray because the black trigger didn't choose him since he wasn't compatible. Of course, when it came to Jin's fight, I mean, everything was already set in place. I just go like, since Jin knows what's up, he already, since Jin knows what's knows what's gonna happen, he pretty much won this fight to be honest with you I mean literally like he will have like he he will like take on many people and not get hit I mean he will have trouble dodging but I don't think not, uh, not a problem at all while the other squad ends up taking care of the others you know and of course I get to hear kind of Hanazawa's voice you know as um I think one of the um one of the squad members, which I'm really glad about, because, you know, I've all, I, I love, like, Kitora, I, like, I love kind of Hana, Hanazawa, no, no joke, like, her voice, it, her voice as a boy or something, part boy or something, is really hard to get over, you know, but I want to do, get into one thing about how, Jin, how, like, his rival says, where's your Fujin, like, where's the Fujin, and that's when Jin does, doesn't say anything, and then one of the guys, like um, pretty much one of the attackers, knows what Jin's up to, and he Jin's like, oh boy, and they go like, okay, let's just go to the Tamakama branch. Except Jin goes like, no choice then, and then one slice, like literally one slice, and he killed one guy. No, it didn't kill him, but sent him packing all the way to headquarters. He goes like, I have no choice now, and his rival says, there it is. The Fujin. And I go like, the Fujin, huh? And that is when Jin's Black Trigger's ability is starting to be used. So, I'm pretty excited to see what this can do. Because Kuga Yuma has many abilities of a Black Trigger. Jin has abilities of a Black Trigger. I wonder what kind of ability... Uh, kind, what kinds of abilities they are there are. Because I'm really interested to see how, like... How one black trigger could be made, you know? I might, it might, it might have been explained in a few episodes back, but is there any other ways to make it besides using those kinds of way, using those kinds of procedures or steps? That's my question. So not a bad episode, you know. And Jin finally unleashing his power. Well, I'm not really sure if it's full power, his full power, because honestly, one of the members did mention that he's not even taking this fight seriously. He's pretty much holding back like no damage no nothing but since they figured out his plan already he uses Fujin and he cut the guy down in one slice I'm like oh boy this is gonna be sick and tight so looking forward to next episode hopefully it comes out well um yeah I think that's about it so I'm just gonna end it here people for the meantime and if if anything else my next video should be up maybe a little bit later tonight so I'm Alpha Zero have a good day, and I'll see you on my next video. Later. Peace out. Bye-bye.